earlier you know people used to gather data from the internet and you know there's a lot of manual process that goes into it uh, you know collecting information from thousands of sources today you know with ai and automation you can basically scrape uh, you know thousands of websites and you can have data at your fingertips and you know a lot of media organizations for example bloomberg you know they have an ai team and that's what they do instead of you know uh, reporters uh, you know reporting on the earnings reports of the various companies a lot of the times this ai is used uh, you know to do the you know first initial uh, quarterly earning report for example you know every company has uh, their quarterly earning report for example and the bot can just go there and just create the website and create a report immediately and that's what you know bloom gives bloomberg the advantage that they have uh so that's just one fundamental example of how ai is impacting media and journalism you know and recently you know you saw the launch of gpt3 which is mm-hmm. one of the largest language models and mm-hmm. what it does is that basically it can churn out content you know just like a human you know it can basically create content um and even better than a human in some cases so that's that's the you know impact of ai uh on on the media industry is that there's so much which is happening and you know uh, everything is getting automated and you are you you're seeing ai which is actually intelligent and so it obviously impacts the media industry you know it just disrupts it in a huge way so a lot of the times uh, how companies use data analytics is personalization where they basically try to guess you know uh, what kind of content an individual would like to uh, you know consume so we see you know companies like netflix or spotify they have uh, very advanced machine learning frameworks built into their applications and they constantly basically learn from the data or the metadata of users and based on that they basically personalize the content you know so that is one fundamental aspect where analytics is used on the product side right basically try to self learn from what consumer is consuming and basically provide better content and another example is youtube for example right uh, we use youtube on a daily basis and when we open youtube it somehow magically knows all the videos we want to watch you know it's as if every video on the home page uh, resembles what we like as if it intuitively known knows what we like you know so that's uh, that's neural networks which are basically constantly learning you know self learning from the data that we are providing basically the metadata mm-hmm. of the search uh, keywords that we put in you know and uh, other metadata and it constantly learns from it so that's the basic use of analytics that is or you know advanced machine learning that is used on the product side yeah if we look at the scope of data journalism it is going to be very very important and let me give you uh, an example uh, you know we had the panama papers which were the biggest breakthrough in journalism in the last 5 years you know and uh, panama papers was actually the product of data journalism uh, although it was like a whistle blowing whistle blowing event where you know uh, an anonymous person uh, gave out these you know leaked documents to a german newspaper and you know then we saw that the international consortium of investigative journalists worked on this you know uh, about 11.5 million documents and over 2 terabytes of data and uh, you know about 100 journalists were involved across the world and they worked on this data so this data was basically data which was you know stolen from the database of a company called mosaic fonseca mosaic fonseca was basically uh, you know uh, an offshoring firm which basically converted black money into white money you know of different political leaders from across the globe so this anonymous person basically leaked out these documents which detailed how people were you know illegally converting black money into white but the but the uh, but the you know reporting that was done was done through data journalism because it was all uh, the content was uh, you know completely like it was a database so in order to extract uh, you know stories from that kind of data you need data, you need analytics so uh, international consortium of investigative journalists basically hired an analytics team and they basically you know 
um, used new 4J data. They converted into new 4J, and they created very beautiful, you know, visual. They use visualization tools to create very good stories where they basically connected, uh, you know, the different political leaders and leaders, in fact, from India as well, who were using these offshore companies to convert their, you know, black money into white. And so what they do is that they create these shell companies. you know and in in tax havens basically where they don't have to pay any taxes and at the end of the day your black money is converted into white but my point is that you know such a big story was done through data journalism so data journalism is is incredibly important even today during covid-19 you have you know data sets from let's say john hopkins university they have released a data set which is mm-hmm. constantly um, you know um, updated every day and we have seen in the past 2 3 months a lot of stories based on data journalism where journalists and media houses have actually you know analyzed that content and found out how covid has impacted different vulnerable communities you know there's a lot of demographic data that you know governments release across the world and that could be used to create stories my point is that data journalism is important because actually what it does is that uh, it proves your point you know it proves your point using data so it's very very important for you know media houses to use it and obviously it has a huge scope but yeah it does require some fundamental technical skills which are not very hard to learn but uh, you know it's it's very important going forward it's going to be very important it's going to be a big uh, distinguishing factor for media houses yeah yeah so one of the things that they're uh, using uh, analytics for is very basic tracking of where they are getting the audience from right so one of the most important tools that most media houses use is google analytics which tells them uh you know where the audience is coming from and uh, you know what kind of uh things what kind of trends that they are seeing and so that helps them basically invest further in a kind of content you know earlier editors would have their opinions or would have would commission stories uh you know but those stories were good but they didn't do well so now what happens is editors know what kind of stories are getting traction and what they should further invest in so that helps them you know save time and money and google analytics is a product which is based on ai it's just that uh, you know uh, the way it is used it doesn't require much technical skills but yeah it is definitely ai and it's very important tool you know you have social analytics tools like you know hootsuite which analyzes different social media platforms to tell you you know where people are engaging with your platform so that's very important and it's being used across all media houses uh you know apart from that as i told you you know bloomberg does uh, a lot of automation where they basically scrape financial results from across the web so that is one way you know in which uh, analytics is used another way is you know where they have these analytics teams and they can you know churn out data demographic data for example to create data data visualization story so i mean that is the way it is being used it's not being adopted at, at the scale as you would think because you know it's very expensive to hire a data science team or an analytics teams and most journalists don't have the skills technical skills to basically use ai but you know we are seeing new trends where we have google news initiative and google is actually training journalists in machine learning models you know uh, that they can use to build stories so at this point the adoption is not there but i'm thinking like going forward uh, what will happen is that you know to get a competitive advantage media houses will have to use ai uh because the reason is that gpt3 language models like gpt3 can actually you know really add value uh, so if you just have a gpt3 product in your media house you can create your stories intuitively and uh, you know uh, that would require that would basically eliminate a lot of repetitive tasks that journalists do like for example transcription transcription is one thing which is very it's a very painstaking task uh, in the sense that you know but now with you know voice recognition technology you can basically transcribe things again you can basically ai can help you create articles automatically right uh, without having to go through and do research on the web ai can just do that automatically for you so that is another thing where you know ai is being used one of the fundamental challenges is the technical skills itself right uh, 
there are very very few journalists who are skilled in technology i think that is one big challenge where companies are actually struggling with finding people who are skilled both at data and journalism so that is one big skill and so journalists my, including myself are constantly learning you know the problem is that there is so much data out there right there's so much data and we know that there can be like many stories that can be extracted from that data but we don't have the technical know how we are constantly learning you know we do need help from developers from you know data scientists or data analysts to help us you know extract that data and then use that data to build up stories that is definitely there but so that is a big challenge apart from that i don't think that there is much challenge it's a very good point of time where there's a lot of things that a lot of resources that journalists can use to build up stories today you don't have to go out and you know get quotes because all the quotes are there on twitter you can basically uh, you know again scrape twitter data to look for certain things that you're looking for a lot of companies actually you know uses uh, as you, as i told you social analytics you can have search engines built in where you can basically find quotes find leads uh, you know through that social media data so what i'm saying is that it's a good thing the resources for journalists have increased it's just that they have to work on their technical skills also